Welcome aboard to today's training. This is going to be your 2024 Google Local Service Ads Masterclass. I'm your host, Wesley Smith with TreeServiceDigital.com. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. This is a very important topic for your overall digital marketing strategy. And we've got some clients getting 50, 70, 100 calls a month on this platform for Google Local Service Ads. And we're going to show you that today. So I wanted to make sure we put a training together for this. We do this every year, but there's always a few you know, changes and tweaks that Google does just when you figure something out, they like to go change it where it's you know, difficult to figure out the rest of it. So they made a couple of changes in the past two or three months here in 2024. So I wanted to make sure everybody's aware of those and put on a quick training today to help you guys maximize your Google local service ads. So let me go ahead and share my slides with you today and we'll get right into it. If you don't mind, I just want to make sure you guys can see my screen and these slides behind it. That way I know that I'm presenting to you guys with the, with the right stuff. Just let me know if you can see that, maybe pop it in a chat uh, or in um, a question and answer box or something. Just making sure you guys can see these slides right here. If you don't mind. And that way, I know I'm not talking to a blank screen there. If you guys don't mind popping in the chat. Just let me know if you can see that. But this is going to be your Google Local Service Ads Masterclass for 2024. And I just wanted you guys to know of the new changes to be aware of on the platform. It's really, really good. It's pay per lead, pay per call. And it really does a great job of branding your company with a local kind of digital billboard at the very, very top of the page. So it's very powerful. It works very well. And you get most people get really, really good results with it. So I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of the brand new changes that just came out. I think it happened in June, July timeframe, and uh, we'll get right into that. So what we go through with, um, you know, Tree Service Digital and our clients is your overall digital marketing program. And it's really a, a multitude of different digital marketing services and components that are going to get you the best results. And one of those falls under the paid ads right here. Number two, pay per click, pay per lead. So this is Google Ads, local service ads. And that's what Google local service ads, LSA, Google Guarantee, whatever people may call it in your neck of the woods or what you guys have abbreviated to call it. Uh, but it's Google local service ads is the official name. Uh, LSA is another short term local service ads, LSA or Google Guaranteed, a lot of people know. So this is our digital dominance wheel. And this is one spoke on the wheel that we always recommend tree companies doing for their local community and local area is getting on the Google local service ad platform. you got to get verified. And once you do get verified, your Google map listing and local service ads shows at the very, very top of the page. So um, if you want to get the best results, you know, on local service ads and really, really ramp up your lead flow, what I'm about to go through could change your business. We've got clients, again, like I said, at the outset of this uh, video, that get upwards of 50, 70, 100 leads a month. Now, the average typical client, probably more like 20 to 40 calls per month on the platform, depending on the competition in the local area. So if there's 20 tree companies verified in your market, they've got to kind of show everybody a little love. So they're going to rotate the local service ads around a good bit. But keeping your reviews very high and your rating very high is going to help you be kind of on the top more often than the competition. So just a couple little tips here. And we're going to go through exactly how to optimize your account and get the best results here in just a minute. But I highly encourage you to just pay attention to this because it really does make a difference in your inbound lead flow, local visibility, and just overall ability to get more business for your tree company. Um, so here's what we're going to cover today. What local service ads are, where it's active, how it works, how you can jump on board if you have not already, what it takes to rank in the top two to three results. And nowadays they're only showing two results. So we're going to show you that. How you can take advantage of high quality leads at a lower cost per lead and maximize your return on investment to truly win with local service ads. And you may be asking yourself if this is the first time you've seen Tree Service Digital or a webinar we've put on, like, why should you listen to me? Who's this chucklehead talking about local service ads? Well, uh, I've been in digital marketing now for about 12 years. I need to update this slide since about 2012. Um, we specialize in tree service internet marketing only. It's all we do all day, every day. Uh, we have expert web development, digital marketing team that helps fulfill all of our client needs and campaigns across the country. Uh, we've worked with hundreds now of tree service companies across the United States to really help them generate a flood of new business and be able to grow their tree service company with predictable lead flow. 
I'm also a member of TCIA, ISA, and I wrote the book on internet marketing, How to Win with uh, Internet Marketing for Tree Service. I've actually got another book in production now. It's going to be the Accelerated Growth Roadmap for Tree Service Contractors with a full program overview. But got a book here, How to Win with Internet Marketing for Tree Service. If you guys want a copy, just shoot an email back to one of the uh, invites or invitations to the webinar. Happy to uh, mail you out a copy there. Uh, we've got lots of clients across the country, you know, upwards of 100 currently, and just some of the logos and people that we do business with um, like to just put a couple of logos on there. And, um, you know, this is what we do all day, every day, right? SEO for tree service companies to make sure you show up organically in your local market on the Google Maps, Google Ads Management for tree service companies, Facebook marketing for tree service companies, and that's social postings as well as actual Facebook ads that really get you the best results there. Uh, email marketing for tree service companies, really building a fence around your customer database and letting them not forget you when they need tree services. Text marketing to your customer database. It's very powerful to build a fence around your customers and just keep reminding them of summer specials, you know, fall uh, incentives, you know, give us a call, get on the schedule those types of things. If you continue to follow up with your clients, not too much, but often enough to where they remember to give you a call, it's going to really help you build your business. Uh, website design, so beautiful websites for tree service companies, reputation management for Google reviews, Facebook reviews. And we also do direct mail marketing for a good portion of our clients as well that really want more and want the phone to ring. So what are the Google local service ads? You may be asking that. Maybe you don't even know. Um, well, if you do a search in your local market on Google, um, what you can see is the top of the page here. They're the exact first result here at the top of the page. So right now, uh, historically, before this year, they had three results going across this way horizontally. Now they've got two up and down, so two vertical results that show up on the Google search page. And so what these are is these are Google local service ads. When people call this from their cell phone, it's a click to call. You get charged for the call when somebody clicks this button on their cell phone and gives you a call. If they click that button and they're on a desktop computer like I am now, the phone number will show and then they can pick up their phone and just dial that number and call. Same difference. They called the tracking number. Google knows you got a call on this platform. They charge you for the calls. It's as simple as that. You get pay per call service on this platform. You do have to do a background check. Uh, I think what they're doing is looking for like a criminal background type check what they look for. Uh, it's with a third party company called Pinkerton. And once you get verified, boom, you're right here. Um, these show up at the absolute top position of the local search page. And right below that, you'll see the sponsored right here. These are the traditional Google ads. They used to be called Google AdWords. Now it's just Google ads for short. And this is where uh, you do pay per click marketing with Google. You pay for each click to show up here. And these, what we're talking about today, the local service ads, Conversely, these are pay per call. So pay per lead, pay per click. Just remember that pay per lead at the top or pay per call, pay per click on the Google ads there. So why does it matter, you know, in the first place? Well, 87% of consumers are going to go search Google. That's what everybody's programmed to do. It's like robotic programming. Everybody knows they got to go to Google to search for stuff because they have the most data. They have the most information on the internet. So typically you're going to get the best search result on Google. That could change. And we're always out in front of that, right? If people start pivoting to other search platforms, we're on the horizon of that. We're seeing what's coming up. But right now, Google still probably locks down about 90%, 92% of search volume. So you want to be there, whether you like Google, agree with their policies or not. If you're not there, you're going to miss out on a lot of local business. It's about 87% of consumers search Google when they look for home service providers. It's the number one place that your customers are looking when they need your services. Local service ads come up first in the search results, mobile and desktop results. Uh, there's no higher intent prospect than the customer who is proactively looking for your services at that moment in time. You must have a plan to win with local service ads, right? You can't just set it up and, and hope it works. Uh, there's a couple things you gotta do um, and make sure you kind of you know, manage it actively. So here's where it's active in the United States. Pretty much everywhere. Um, this is just kind of showing you it's in every region of the country. It was a slower rollout a few years ago to every single geographic location, but it's been around now two to three years, pretty much everywhere, maybe maybe a year or two in every every place. But uh, for the most part, if, if you're in a rural area, 
and there's nobody else on the local service ad platform, you can get verified and be the only person showing up. And so they used to have it where you had to have three companies in a local market before they would show the platform at the top of the page. But now if there's just one, they'll just show it on mobile search and in the Google Maps uh, more often if there's only one company. So if you're one company, you're going to be scooping up all those calls, right? There's nobody else getting those calls. So um, it's pretty much active all across the country. And that's how it impacts the search results, right? So um, it shows right here. So like, let's say you do a search for tree trimming near me, tree service near me, whatever the case may be. You're going to see them right here at the very, very top of the page. And as you can see, they're going to show typically the listings with the most reviews. So this is one reason you want to focus on getting reviews all the time on your Google map listing, your Google business profile, because when you get a review there, it'll post there and it'll also post and sync up to your Google business profile, but not the other way around. So if you get the review directly on your local service ad profile, it will not filter to your Google map listing, which is kind of stupid because they're both synced up. So I don't know why they do that, but you can get reviews solely on your Google local service ad if you'd like, but you knock out two birds with one stone if you get the review on your Google map listing, Google business profile. So I would just you know be diligent about getting reviews all the time because it helps every single thing. So again, this is the local service ads pay per call section, the Google guaranteed local service ads is what they're called. And then these are the pay-per-click ads right below uh, the Google local service ads. So here's how they work. You must complete the Google local service ads application, right? You complete the application and Google will then run a background check on you and your employees. Uh, they'll do license. You, what you can do is when you're setting this up, so for tree service companies, since you don't go inside people's house, you don't need to have all of your crew members do the background check, only the business owner or owners if you have partners. So basically just the one or two of you have to do the background check with Pinkerton and then you'll get verified after that. So once you complete the background check, it's usually with Pinkerton, it takes usually two to four weeks to get verified. Uh, once approved and if active in your area, you will pay uh, on a per lead basis. We've seen anywhere between $35 and $60 per call, but expect those prices to shift and kind of fluctuate over time because it really depends on how many people are doing the local service ads in your market. If there's 40 companies, you're going to pay on the higher end of that per call. Now, we've seen some people pay $80 bucks a call on the platform. Some people pay $20 a call, but just the average $35 to $65 is probably 90% of tree companies. Um, but if there's only five, maybe 10 tree companies that are bidding and doing local service ads, You'll be on the lower end of that pay per call, but if there's more, then it's going to be more because Google, you know, it's going to vary, you know, by city and industry. So how are you charged for local service ads? Well, what you do there in local service ads platform, once you get signed up and you get verified, you set your billing and budget um, anytime you want. But after you're verified, you'll be billed um, on the number of leads you receive weekly. So they typically bill you every time you hit $500 in ad spend. And from there, you get a, you get a charge for $500 and it's pay per call. So let's say your average call is $45. Let's do $40 so I can do the math here. And you get 10 calls that week. Well, then you're going to owe $400 for that week for those 10 calls. Now, Google is now automatically disputing the sales calls or people looking for a job call or wrong number calls. So they're automatically disputing those now for you which we're staying on top of to kind of make sure they're doing that, but they're claiming that they're going to stay on top of it. I don't know if they have some sort of AI tool or something like that that's keeping up with it, but we're still monitoring that and actually doing it until it's 100% rolled out. Should be probably this month, I believe, but you get credited back on those uh, bad leads. So example, $2,000 a month, $500 a week you're spending, that'd be $71 per day. Your cost per lead is $35. You would get 57 leads that month, 14 leads per week, roughly. Um, and then once you have spent your budget that you're willing to allocate per week, the way you do it is you have to put a weekly budget. So let's say you put in $500 a week. Once you hit the $500, Google will then turn your ad off so you don't go over. And it averages out on a monthly basis. So you may get a different number of leads from day to day, week to week, but you'll never spend more than your designated budget that you put on Google. 
And you, you have the ability to immediately dispute leads if you receive a lead that is not valid. But there's been a recent change, as I just mentioned, where they are claiming that they're going to dispute the leads and give you an automatic credit. We will see how that goes. The jury's still out on that. I don't know if they're going to be diligent enough or going to be finding all the bad leads, uh, but that's what they say they're going to do. If you guys have any questions, pop them in the question and answer or the chat box. Happy to answer any questions uh, as we continue along. What leads don't count? I sort of brushed on this on the previous slide, but here's Google's direct screenshot inside the local service ad settings. So if the call was from a wrong number or a solicitation, caller was trying to sell you a product or service, calls from someone seeking employment at your business, caller didn't discuss your business. That's uh, automatic credit. Spam, call was pre-recorded. Call was otherwise not live or from a human. Um, you don't service the location. So the customer communicated their location, and you said you don't service that location, and then you guys hung up. You declined the job. That's also an automatic credit. Service not offered. So if they call and they want you to do Christmas tree, uh, you know, set up, then you can basically put on there, hey, we don't do Christmas trees, and have a nice day, and they'll credit you that too. Uh, if you decline the job or the service that you don't do, uh, or the caller was looking for a physical store or looking to buy something that you don't offer, you're supposed to get an automatic credit on that as well. Um, so that's kind of what leads don't count there. So feedback from active users, and we've got a couple of questions here. Thank you guys for asking questions. I'll stop right here for a minute. How does Google know the call was a solicitor or job seeker? Are they listening in? You betcha. Yes, they've got a pre-recorded or a preconceived phone number that basically hides over the local service ad number. So when somebody clicks the call, it's their tracking number that the person is getting when they click the phone pad, the call. And so when they call, Google listens in on that call. And so if they say they're looking for a job or it's out of area, they automatically credit it is what they're saying. Now, in the past, we had to historically put in the disputes and we're still doing that. Uh, but Google, I don't know if they've got an artificial intelligence tool listening in or what they have, but they're supposed to automatically be crediting those moving forward. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, Hunter asks, I have local service ads set up, but I'm not very good at marking them booked, archived, disputed. Does this affect how many leads I get? Good question, Hunter. Yeah, so historically, Google basically said, if you will go into the back end after you get your calls and mark them as booked, completed, whatever, then they take that as you're actually answering the calls and you're actually following up and you're doing the right thing and they want to show you on the platform if you're keeping up with it. So they said that it used to work. Um, so I think it's still a good practice. We still do those for our clients. We get in there once a week and we mark them as booked, archived, whatever the case may be for each one of them, spam, whatever. Um, and so that really helps Google know that you're using the platform and not just turning it on and just hoping that it works type thing. The one thing that's pretty much getting the most calls for, for our clients is reviews and rating, right? So if you focus on just getting more Google reviews, that typically will ramp up the call. But yeah, answering the phone also. If you don't answer the phone, then they notice that you're not answering the phone and it goes to a voicemail. They're going to start kicking your listing down a little bit because you're not answering the phone. Um, does booked mean that the customer booked the job or just that you reached out to them to do an estimate? Yeah, it's pretty much if you reached out to do an estimate, um, I would just mark it as booked. That way they know that you booked the appointment, booked the estimate. Um, booked can mean a little bit, you know, different things to different people. Like to tree companies, booked probably means like they signed the agreement to move forward and do the work. But in Google's eyes, booked just means you took the call, scheduled the appointment, you booked the appointment, you're going out there. So yeah, it's just a good practice to let them know that you're doing those types of things. So thanks for those questions, guys. Great questions. And some of these we're getting into here just around the corner. Um, feedback from active users, uh, lower cost per lead than Google ads pay-per-click, usually, not always, but usually, uh, higher quality leads than Angie or Yelp. Of course, those are a race to the bottom, right? Because they're getting five, six quotes right immediately after they press submit on those platforms. Um, you still get some price shoppers and have to follow up quickly with these leads because if you don't answer the phone or if somebody leaves a voicemail, then they're more likely to go down the horn and just start calling all the other tree companies. But if you answer the phone live, they're typically less likely to do that or maybe only call one more because, you know, you've already addressed their issue, let them know you're coming out, schedule the appointment, and they're just less likely to kind of continue to call down. So it's very, very important to answer the phone. Um, we also heard you know, there's a solid return on investment for most of the clients who have jumped on board. 
Um, it's just a good platform to be on. Because if you think about it this way, there's really not much risk on that platform. You're only paying if you get a call. If you don't get any clicks and you don't get any calls, you, you're not going to pay. So it's a really good place to be. And we always recommend it. So this is why it's a no-brainer for most tree service companies. You're going to show up at the very tip top of the search results where your clients are looking, right? When somebody does a search, that's just the first place their eyes gravitate to. It's that first place right below where they typed in the search. And if you show up right there, you're going to get the benefit of the doubt and you're going to get those calls more often than not. Um, you're only paying on a per lead per call basis. That's why it's a no brainer as well. Low risk. It's lower cost per lead typically than Google ads, pay-per-click marketing. Um, higher quality leads than Angie or Yelp in most cases. And you have the ability to modify your budget based on schedule, right? You can increase, decrease. We've got some clients that spend $1,000 a week on the platform, some $2,000 a week. It really just depends on the local market um, and how much budget and how aggressive you want to be with bringing in more business. So it's really customizable. So it really is a no-brainer in most cases to get verified on the platform. So how do you get set up? You may be asking, wow, this sounds pretty good, but you know, I've never really figured out how to get this set up. Maybe you have an office staff or you know, a marketing individual in your office and you want to get set up on Google Local Service Ads. Well, if you work with us, we'll support you every step of the way, help you get verified, onboarded onto the platform, take care of all the steps except for the background check. You'll have to click on that and do that yourself due to sensitivity and sensitive information. But after that, we've got it set up um, and then we'll run it and manage it for you. But if you want to sign up yourself, you search Google for local service ads. This link literally changes, I swear, like every quarter. Um, so I put the link here, but it, it's, it's tough to, to take this link down. So I would just go to Google and do a search for local service ads, search, and then you'll see this link at the top of the page. Once you click on it, there's like an enrollment process to create your account and everything else. Uh, once you do that, it'll take you through the five steps to get that thing launched. It's like usually you're um, business information like EIN number, address. Uh, some states require certified uh, arborist licenses. Some don't. Some require a, um, some sort of state license or you know different types of licenses. But probably about two thirds of the states. Pretty simple to get set up. Another one third um, will have a few more hoops to jump through with licensing and things like that. But it's pretty easy to get verified. Uh, the background check is the biggest probably time consuming part of it, just because you have to sit and wait once you submit it. Uh, but you've got this right here. This is the link. I would just do a search for local service ads because again, that link changes every time I look. Um, so basically you click on it, it'll say welcome and it'll say connect with more customers here and continue. And you'll just kind of go through walking through how to get uh, set up on there. So how does the ranking work when somebody does a search in your local area? Like, where's it going to show? Are they going to show mine? Are they going to show my competitors? So your proximity to the potential customer's location. So it's also kind of a location proximity-based search. So if somebody is standing within a mile or two of your shop, your business address, they're going to see yours more often because you're closer by, especially if they do the tree service near me type search. So if they do a search like tree service near me, tree service your city, they're going to see yours. Um, what also determines it is your review score and the number of reviews you receive. I put this one in green because I wanted to make sure it sticks out. This is the most important factor in ranking on the local service ads. Whenever you put everything else aside, it's how many reviews you got, how high is your rating. Google's algorithm only has a couple of things to decide where they're going to put tree companies on their, you know, on their search page. And the higher rating you have and the more reviews you have, the way they look at it is you can't fake that. So that means you must be a real business. You must be taking care of the customers and the public. So they're going to put yours at the top more often. So that's very important. I always want to put that in green so you know that. Your responsiveness to customer inquiries and calls, right? If you'll answer the phone on that platform, they know you're answering the phone. They're going to reward you and keep you up the top. Your business hours, make sure that, you know, you've got your business hours selected. If you want to go 24 hours, go 24 hours. No problem with that. You'll just spend a little bit more money. Um, but, you know, have your business hours dialed in whether or not you've received serious or repeated complaints about your business. So if you get bad reviews and your rating starts falling, that's going to impact your, your ranking too. Uh, in addition to these ranking factors, Google will attempt to spread out the leads you receive over time. So this is to prevent you from spending your entire budget early in the budget period. So for example, you have $500 a week budget. 
they're going to kind of space it out daily to make sure you show up enough each day to kind of get a staggered amount of leads rather than getting 10 calls in one day and no calls the rest of the week type thing. Um, you may see your ranking affected or your ad paused temporarily in order to evenly spread out your leads on there. Oh, we got a couple of questions here. All right. So I've set a budget for $1,900 per week and we still are not getting very many calls. Could I up my spend or is there something wrong with my page I can do? Well, that's a good question, Jen. There's a lot of variables there. So if you have $1,900 a week budget, that's a big budget. Um, it could be that there's a lot of competition in your local market and you're kind of not showing as often as your competitors. It really depends on how many reviews you got. Would you say you're at the very, very top of the reviews in your local area? Because it can be competitive in that regard. If not, if you are at the top because you have a lot of reviews, it could be that there's not enough search volume in the target areas. Maybe you're more rural, population is a little more sparse, so you might need to open it up into more geographical areas. Hopefully those tips might help. Um, it's after your business is closed for the day. Is it true that you won't show up until your office is open again? That is correct. It depends on what business hours you select. So if you select 24 hours, it'll show up around the clock. But keep in mind, once you hit your budget, it's not going to show either. So they're not going to show your ad every time you do the search. If you think about it, there's lots of people on the platform typically. So they're going to kind of rotate them around a little bit and give everybody a little bit of love on the platform. Um, but if you have a big, big, gigantic budget, like $1,000 or $2,000 a week on the platform, then yes, you'll show up 24-7 as long as you select your business hours to be 24-7. If you have your business hours from 8 o'clock a.m. to 6 p.m., for example, after 6 p.m., they're gone. The, the ads are off. Nobody's going to see it. So just keep that in mind. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions there. So here's how to win on the local service ad platform. This might answer some of your questions here, Jim, too. Um, dial in your service area. Make sure you're covering all the service areas you want to. And again, if you're having low call flow, maybe you open up your service area a little bit. Maybe you'd be willing to go out another five to 10 minutes away from where you were before just to see. Uh, open up your profile, open up your budget there. Um, that helps as well. Mark your jobs as booked. If you'll mark those calls as booked, Google knows that you're taking care of the customer going out there, setting the appointment, scheduling the, scheduling the work. Uh, watch the disputes. Again, Google's changing this to automatic credits. So I would watch that. I'd keep a, keep a watch on that like a hawk. Normally we get a good handful or more credited back each month disputing them manually, but they're saying they're going to start disputing these automatically, but we're going to be watching that just to make sure. Um, drive verified reviews, right? Make sure you're constantly getting reviews every week on your Google business profile, which is your Google map listing. And that will also post on your Google local service ad platform. So make sure you're getting reviews constantly. Um, target an 85% booking rate in the reporting. This is another thing too, to go back on a couple of you guys' questions in the uh, chat box there. Make sure your booking rate is 85% or higher. That means Google thinks that, you know, every call you're getting, you're able to book that job. The market is booked. They feel like you're taking care of the public uh, on your platform. So I would say make sure your booking rate is very high on there. So number one, let's look right here. Dial in your profile. Make sure you get your profile completely dialed in, where you want to target, what areas, all that stuff, right? Make sure you get that done. So Set your budget, open it wide open if you have capacity. Again, it's no risk because you're not paying if you don't get any calls. So make sure you open up the budget, update your ad schedule, make sure your ad schedule is accurate. Set up your business bio, make sure in your profile of your business, you've got everything accurate inside there. Select all your job types that you want to target and make sure in the job type, this is another tip, in the job categories, make sure you have at least 75% of those selected. So if there's like six different options, I think for tree service, there's six options, tree trimming and pruning, tree removal, stump grinding, tree planting, tree transplanting, one other, it's like five or six, make sure you're at least targeting four out of those six, because if you, if you shrink it down too much, then you may not be showing for some of the stuff that you want to be showing for cabling and bracing, I think is another one. Um, so just make sure you have most of them opened up and set up your service areas. Make sure you've got it you know, completely wide open in your markets and update your business hours. Also add photos. You can add photos inside this Google business profile. So some of the photos that you have on your phone that you've taken in the field, some of the photos on your Facebook page or anywhere else, make sure you're uploading some photos inside there. 
Um, they're ask, I'm on an automated bidding max leads and have a thousand dollar weekly budget. I usually spend about 250. Should I increase my budget or do manual bidding and increase max bid from a hundred dollars from 50? You could do one of those two things, Hunter, and test that out. We've done both. Um, we have also increased it to manual bidding to see if we can attempt to show up a little bit higher because we're willing to pay more for that call. But it really didn't make that much of a difference. Again, I think it goes back to Google's trying to rotate everybody around that's willing to pay on the platform or else everybody's unhappy. So they're trying to give everybody some, some leads on there. So increasing the bid for us on a manual basis didn't really help on the local service ad platform per se. Um, now the um, increase my budget, you could increase your budget, but if you're already a thousand dollars a week and you're only spending 250, that tells me that there's not enough surge volume and you need to spread out your service areas a tad bit if you're willing to drive further. If not, don't worry about that. Um, or there's a ton of competition and you need to make sure you work on your reviews and have the most reviews in your market. If you don't have the most reviews in your market or close to it, it's going to be tough to show in those top two spots consistently from what we've seen. Um, so the next part is just make sure, see these calls right here? This is where you itemize your calls. So these are all active. So the best bet is to go through all these active ones. And these were just in the last couple of days. So we're in the process of marking these booked right now. All these ones that are charged, we mark as booked. And that's a good practice to mark most of them as booked. That way Google you know, thinks that you're going out there and taking care of the customer. Um, so this is where you would do that inside your leads dashboard. You would just click on leads and then come in here, mark them as booked. And then you can toggle between active, uh, pending, archived, or booked. And so that really helps too. So mark your jobs as booked once they come in. And Google will rate your responsiveness by how well you complete your jobs and go through that. So it's good just once a week to do that or have somebody do that for you once a week. Uh, mark them as booked, scheduled. Uh, if you wanted to, you could add the customer details, include an email address, archive non-converted opportunities. Um, and this is where you mark it booked. Basically, you just, you see it there, you click on the lead, listen to the call, mark it as booked if it's not a spam call. And deal with disputes. In the past, you did this manually, but Google literally this month is rolling out automatic disputes. And again, we're going to be watching it like a hawk to make sure they're going to hold up their end of the bargain with it. Uh, because the disputing process is not perfect. So if Google thinks that there is a possibility that you were able to monetize that lead, they're not going to give you a credit. So what we always suggest is, is don't leave any gray area on the call because it is being recorded and so what we always suggest is if somebody says, hey, do you service this area? No, nope, I'm sorry, we do not. Have a nice day. If we can help you in the future, give us a call back. There's no gray area there. You told them, no, you don't service that area. And it's not on your, your profile as a service area. Google will give you that credit 19 times out of 20. If you then, if you alternatively, though, if you take that call and you say, yeah, how far away is it? Okay, it's right next to where we normally go. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Let me have somebody give you a call back and see. Google's not going to give you credit for that. That's what we've learned, right? So if it's a hard no and there's no gray area, you'll get the credit. If there's a gray area and a wishy-washiness on the call, they're not going to give you a credit. Just FYI, that's a little tip. So if it's outside your area, normally they do. Um, and then automatic disputing process, um, it's changed for this month. Just wanted to highlight that in writing on there for you. So um, they're going to start doing it that way. So make sure you get reviews because, again, you see these reviews. If I take that off, 172 reviews on this one, 889 reviews on this one, 289 reviews on this one. So the more reviews you get, the more often you're going to show in this top spot because Google is going to reward those people that have really taken a diligent um, approach to getting reviews. So make sure you're getting those reviews. Um, the number of reviews we're seeing is pretty much the most important part uh, of the ranking factor on Google local service ads and the rating. So that's great if you get 500 reviews, but if your rating is like 4.1 or 4.2 because you got a ton of one-star reviews, that's going to hurt you a little bit too. So make sure you get five-star reviews. And if people are unhappy, find out what's going on and call them up and make it right. And they'll change the review or remove the review. So very, very important to make sure you're doing the right thing out in the community and uh, just going back and, and taking care of something that they got broke or didn't work correctly. Uh, provide great service. That goes without saying, right? If you provide great service, you're going to get reviews anyway. Um, leverage the dashboard to drive verified reviews by entering name, email, and quick 
you know, quickly press the get a review button. Now, again, I would suggest you can do it right inside local service that account, get reviews on there. We suggest getting the reviews on your Google business profile on the maps, uh, just because you get it there and it'll put it on your local service ad account. Um, but this is how you would do it. You would see it right here in the lead. Uh, once you get the, the job right there um, and you mark it as booked, you can simply select this button to ask for a review and it'll literally send them an email and a, and a text message to give you that review. So it's pretty slick. But again, it only will go to your local service ad account if you do it this way and not to your Google map listing. So I would skip that part if you have the capacity to do that and just get it on your Google map listing. And so make sure you target also, I think we mentioned this just a few slides ago, target 85% plus booking rate. So when you go in there and mark those jobs booked, sold, archived or whatnot, just make sure you mark those as, um, as booked that way uh, you, you, um, <clears throat> you get higher likelihood of staying towards the top because they feel like you're answering the calls, taking care of the customers. And this is kind of showing you what that looks like. So let's say for this 30 day period, 45 leads, pretty good bit of calls there. 43 of them were booked. So that's a 97% booking rate, right? So that percentage in Google's eyes is a good thing. So that's why you want to have that high booking rate. How to increase your lead flow from local services. This might help uh, answer a couple of you guys' questions that had this a few minutes ago, and we kind of touched on it. Open up your budget. I don't know that you will find a lower cost per qualified lead than this, right? It's a really good platform. Expand your service areas, job types, ad schedule, business hours. You know, just open it wide open if you're not getting enough calls, and then also focus on those reviews. Close out every single lead on the platform that you get um, to booked, scheduled, archived, you know, whatever you need to do to get that thing itemized and request verified reviews after each job to your Google business profile link. I would suggest over the Google local service ad link. So here's what you should do now. Get with your strategy partner uh, on our team, or if you're trying to do this on your own, Again, go to local service ads on the Google search bar, click local service ads, and then hit search, type in local service ads and hit search. And you'll see a link to sign up for local service ads or get more information on local service ads. Again, that link changes all the time. Uh, complete your background checks when you're signing up. That's the part that takes the most time. So the earlier you can do that, the quicker you're gonna be live on the platform. So enter, you know, put in your background check. It's on Pinkerton, a third party company. And then it just kind of is a sit and wait period after that. Um, put in the tracking in place to gauge your return on investment. So just make sure you know those calls are coming from your Google local service ad account. Uh, be sure that you're leveraging the platform to close the jobs and provide updates on those jobs. And, you know, go ahead and just play the game. You know, put a budget into this platform while the return on investment makes sense. Again, it weeds some people out because there's a background check and it's kind of some hoops to jump through with insurance and business licensing and all that stuff. So not everybody's on the platform. So that's the benefit to the true legitimate businesses out there that you're on a platform that only is going to have the up and up companies on there. So it's a good place to be. Um, good, good digital, you know, social proof to be on there. And uh, again, it goes along with our digital dominance method. We suggest this to every tree service company looking to grow their business because again, it's pay per call and it's just a good platform to be on. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. Hopefully you guys got some value out of that. Any other questions, go ahead and pop them in. Be wrapping up here in just a few more minutes. Thanks so much for joining as well again. And um, if you want a free online marketing plan review, happy to go through this with you, me or one of my team members. Um, just call our office at 770-637-3707, text the number, or you can just go to treeservicedigital.com and fill out the contact form there for an appointment. And we'll be happy to reach out to you. Uh, and our calendar will be on that page too. So if you want, you know, just a, just a no stress, um, relaxed meeting going over what you've got going on right now and where you want to go. Happy to do that with you guys. And uh, also get a copy of our free book. If, um, if you want the free book, again, I showed it to you here at the, the first part of the meeting, how to win with internet marketing for tree service companies. Um, you can go to our website and then click on the free book link. Put in your information and we'll mail you a copy. You can also get the e-copy. It's like, I think, $1.99 and you'll have an instant download. 
And I'm um, happy to go ahead and send one of those puppies out to you. And uh, if you got any questions, pop them in there. You're welcome, Jim. Thanks for joining today. Appreciate you. Um, call our office again, 770-637-3707 or go to treeservicedigital.com. Happy to uh, speak with you there. All right. That is it for the day. You're welcome, Hunter. Appreciate you. Thanks for being on today. Um, everybody have a great rest of their day and a great weekend coming up. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much.